I had VHG surgery on September 9th, 2019. Today I'm going to go over my five to seven month post-op journey and I'm going to add some photos in in this video of those three months and the difference and before and afters and different things like that. So <clears throat> five months post-op, I was doing pretty good with my nutrition and my workouts. I was still having trouble balancing how much to eat and how hard to train in the gym. Um, I was still getting results, but I was feeling very tired and fatigued. So about the middle of my fifth month, I changed my workout plan and I just strictly stuck to cardio. And I did not like that because I love to lift weights and that was kind of hard for me and it made a huge difference. I, the weight just fell right off after that. I went from, let me look, I have it written down. So at my five month fifth month I was weighing 175 pounds and by the end of my sixth month I was at 160 so that's 15 pounds um, I was amazed by that I really didn't expect to lose that much just switching up my simple workout routine um, during those months, I, during my fifth and sixth month, I had lost quite a few inches. I had lost I lost around 12 inches in that month and it's just all over my body. So my arms, my bust, my waist all that added all together and it was that many inches off and to be honest I didn't expect it to be that much just by like I said switching up my simple routine in my sixth month I went and had a body analysis test done where it weighs all the different parts of your body um, it takes your BMI different things like that and I did one of these right before my surgery also so I wanted to be able to compare from before surgery at six months and then I'll do one at a year. <clears throat> but my trunk like area, whenever I went in the, when I first went and did it the very first time, it was 60 pounds. And when I went back, it was 47. That was just a six month difference. I, my leg, like each one of my legs before surgery weighed 18 pounds. And when I went at six months, they weighed 14 pounds. <laughs> my arms before surgery weighed eight pounds each. And at six months for my body analysis test, they weighed five and a half pounds each. It is so amazing. At this point, my BMI was a 32. Now I'm at like 28 or something like that. Just going off my scale, not another body analysis test. These body analysis tests are really cool because they show you how much total body water you have, your dry lean mass, your body fat mass, your weight. And so my body, the how much the water was in my body before surgery was 88.4 pounds. And now it's 74.1. Well, this was six months post-op, but I love to look back and see the difference. My seven month post-op, I, hit kind of a wall for a few weeks and I didn't lose anything and I stayed the same 
but I kept losing inches off my waist and stuff. Um, and I know that that can get very discouraging for some of you to not see the scale move. And I just want to encourage you that you're not defined by the number on the scale. It's so easy for us bariatric patients to get into that mindset because every time we go to the doctor, I mean, that's what they look at. But for your overall health, I just want you to know that you are not defined by the number on the scale. There's so many other small things that can be victories. The way your clothes fit, the way you feel, um, your knees and ankles not hurting when you work out, you know, that dress fitting that never fit before. Those simple things like that are still huge victories, even if the scale isn't moving. Um, during these months, it was important for me to stay hydrated and keep my water intake good. I've always made that a top priority for me because I know how important it is for us to stay hydrated and how easy it is for us to get dehydrated as bariatric patients um, and having the surgery. Also, I stayed on top of my vitamins, my protein, all of those things. I really haven't veered off from anything that my doctors told me to do, my diet, exercise, water intake, vitamins. I've kept it all the same. I know that consistency is key and I want to be as consistent as I can be. I don't want to do the yo-yo dieting like I did before. I don't want to mess my body up like that ever again. And I know that it's hard mentally to do that every single day. But this is the one thing that we were never able to control before. And now that we have this tool, you are in control again. You can make the choices to eat right, to fuel your body and not hurt your body. And I know these are things that people tell you all the time, but it's so true. You know, we've been given such a gift with our, to be able to have our surgery we should use it to its full potential and not waste a moment of it. I know that we have the rest of our lives to go and this is about building a healthy lifestyle, but this first year post-op is extremely important to the success of having weight loss surgery. And our brain did not have weight loss surgery. Our stomach did. And I would really encourage you if you're pre-op still, to really, really, really dig in and search your own self and find the things that are hard to confront and that if you do confront them, you usually eat afterwards. Do that now, not after surgery. After surgery, you have to find new coping mechanisms and different ways to get through stressful situations. And it's easier if you can deal with those issues before surgery. Yes, there's going to be times when it's still hard and you just want to eat because you're extremely stressed out. But if you can change your mindset and see long term and not just right now in the moment, it truly can change. And I really want to start doing something at the end of each of my videos. I just want to share an encouraging word and help and leave you guys off with a positive note. And today I want to share 1 John 4.18. Perfect love casts out all fear. If you are fearful of having surgery, if you're fear fearful of the change that this is going to make in your life forever, know that you're perfectly loved and that fear can't exist where love is. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you could, just give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram at Jordan2 underscores Lee. I can't wait to see you.